Good morning and welcome to Paul Outdoors. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're in fine fettle. It's a magical May Monday morning. Nick and I are heading towards the Malvern Hills, uh, specifically to the Herefordshire Beacon and British Camp. And we're now driving through the beautiful market town of Ledbury. We have the market hall on our left and it's looking like it's going to be a beautiful day. Skies are blue forecast is uh, supposed to be fine so please feel free to uh, jump on board and uh, join us and tag along. We're just climbing now as we head out of Ledbury. Well, I don't know whether anybody noticed in the previous video but Nick has gone up a pay grade he's now uh, gotten behind the camera and had a speaking part so um, I'm wondering whether he's going to uh, he's going to build on that today. I'm not going to preempt anything, but we'll we'll wait and see. Malvern Seven, Nicholas. chaff above us in that ash tree and our woodpecker to our left okay then mate well we're a few minutes into the walk and I'm puffing and panting already because we've taken a different track up through some woodland which goes straight up. <laughs> Woo. Please excuse my sniffing because uh, suffering from a bit of man flu and hay fever and whatnot. So uh, apologies for that. What a beautiful walk this is in this woodland. Yeah I got it mate. We had the option to go along the road. We've come up through here and uh, this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. A lot of trees have fallen, but as with this ash tree, they've fallen, but they're still very much alive. nearing the top of our first climb, which we hadn't factored in, but sometimes the best, best made plans and all that. So after my debut at the Beacons, I think it was obviously deemed a success by our editing department because within 10 minutes of leaving the van, I've been handed the camera. Ah, but I've got another one. <laughs> so, I think my footage is gonna make the cut. And we'll see if I can uh, keep up the good work on this walk. We have here a lovely ash tree which uh, is still very much alive but it's riddled with uh, woodpecker boreholes where part of the ash tree has died back and become more attractive to grubs and the woodpeckers know that so they've been harvesting particularly the right hand side of this trunk and then as we go up the left hand side you can see the ash tree and the leaves still very much alive. So uh, 
as is the uh, cycle of life. Everything rises, everything falls. We have a forest of bluebells being superseded by a forest of young bracken and fern. Reaching out to the sunlight, which is beautiful today. Coming to the top of our first ridge, or reaching our first ridge, I should say. Getting close to it. There's Nick in the dugout. Substitute Nick. Substitute. We've reached the top of Midsummer Hill. This Iron Age Hill Fort was given to the National Trust in 1925 in memory of Captain Reginald Summers Cox, MC. Let's get to the top now of the hill so and get a better look. Nick says it's stunning. Let's have, a, let's have a look with my own eyes. Oh my word. Mate, you were not wrong. Good God. Sugar Loaf. Oh, there she is. The Sugar Loaf. Well, well, well. You cannot keep the Sugar Loaf out of one of our videos, can you? <laughs> Goodness me, mate. Is that May Hill over to the left? A clump of trees? I think it is, isn't it? Just above Gloucester there. Ah. Oh. And Worcestershire Beacon. Further on. Our intention is to go back down off the ridge and then uh, come back on, on top of it on the way back. But before we do that, just want to have a little look at uh, Midsummer Hill, or the information thereof. It's part of the Malvern Hills area of outstanding natural beauty. Here you can enjoy spectacular views, not wrong there. And it mentions a huge hill fort built some 2,000 years ago called Midsummer Hill. It was an Iron Age hill fort. Over 1,500 people are. Uh, thought to have um, occupied it and the Shire Ditch that runs all along the crest of the Malvern Hills once believed to have been a medieval deer barrier which is now thought to have originated as a boundary by Bronze Age people some 4,000 years ago so pre the Iron Age hill fort and sort of prehistoric and it goes on to mention a plethora of uh, flora and fauna which we've certainly uh, experienced already today. So, beautiful place. Just stopping to have a little listen to our summer visitor. He sounds cock a hoop, I think he might find himself a mate. Or he's still advertising for one. He's away, what a beautiful sound. Welcome to Gullet Quarry. Just coming through what is called Gullet Wood now, and we are nearing the quarry. It's an absolutely stunning day and a stunning place. An English woodland during spring takes some beating, it really does. It needs to be on everybody's bucket list. <laughs> Truly. Where once was a quarry, there is now water. As is common uh, almost everywhere. So we have a scar on the landscape, but then nature uh, comes in and recolonizes and uh, just gets on with it. How beautiful.
gorgeous. Isn't the soil it, eh? Well, the thing is, like you've said many times, mate, on these walks you plan, but the best parts of the walks are the bits you, you can't plan in. The little surprises. What a place to go on a picnic. Though, it really park, is, it? yeah. Now don't tell me you've got chocolate gatto in the van because I I'm you know you redeemed yourself last time after taking half an hour to find it. But how many times have we said that would be a good place for a brew stop? Ten today. <laughs> Let's catch a bit of that sun coming through those trees. Hello, how are you? All right, bless him. Nick's put a bid in for that property there, Desres. Even growling at me. What a bloke on the dog. A bloke. <laughs> Just continuing our climb now up to British Camp Reservoir and hoping that the people on that jet, which we think is heading sort of northwest, are heading for warm climbs and a decent holiday. If indeed that's where they're going. Bon voyage. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. British Camp Reservoir. We're not sure whether it's still in active use. It's tidy though, so I'd imagine it probably is. Yeah, it's been well maintained. It's quite low. Mm. That answers our question about the water levels. You may have noticed the water level, the low water level at the reservoir than normal. We'd like to let you know that we're not experiencing a water shortage. Keeping the water levels low for now is a safety measure because of a small amount of seepage. It's safe to continue to take walks and enjoy the beautiful views. Seven Trent Water. Wowzer. Oh yes, yeah. yeah that's, That's the one, mate, yeah. So Nick's just pointed out that was our Malvern Hills Wander along the path up to uh, the Worcester Beacon earlier in the uh, year, a month or so ago. That was a cracking day that was. I think the weather is even better today, if possible. Still got a ways to go though to the top. After April, mate, I felt the strength in my legs and lungs come back. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. indeed. The Beacon's Horseshoe Walk certainly uh, was a good test. Afternoon, gents. Is the coffee shop open on the top? Yes. Marvellous. <laughs> sure, it's your, it's your round. Yeah. <laughs> oh lovely. We'll wait for you. This looks like a ticker tape. Yeah. <laughs> you want my shekels? Is there? Five pound charge. That's cheap. <laughs> That's cheap. <laughs> we'll give you on the way back, is that alright? Thank you. Thank you. Cheap at half the price. <laughs> Wowzer! <coughs> wow, mate. <coughs> oh.
in there, yeah. Yeah, that rings true, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we've come, we came up, back down. Yeah, midsummer. Then we, uh, round the end, yeah, round the outside. Yeah. Should we go and find the solitary hill over there? Go and find a, find a brew spot, definitely. Well, we couldn't resist stopping for a uh, second brew, coffee and a chocolate croissant. Taking this marvellous scene on this glorious day. And the camera now is looking uh, due south towards um, May Hill, above Gloucester. And then just down to the right of May Hill, centre screen is the M50 motorway, which is winding its way to, uh, to Ross on Wye, Simon Jatt. And as we scan around, coming around to the west, we can see our beloved Sugarloaf above the yellow of the oil seed rape in the centre of the screen, Mark or Ridge to its left. West now, and we think we're not 100% sure, so we're not going to claim it as fact. But so we're just over at the top of Nick's cap now. Is um, the horizon is what we think is Penavan in the distance? Possibly, yeah, we're going to check that out. And further round to the right, we've got the Mortimer Forest, I think, Nick, haven't we? Mortimer, Clee or Ludlow? Yeah, Clee Hill, Ludlow, Mortimer Forest. So quite a vista from up here. Birds singing, coffee on the go, all is good, what a place, highly recommend it, it's our second trip, a short uh, walk in comparison to the Black Mountains last week, but, um, but yeah, like Nick just said, we can make a short walk long, <laughs> and we do. Looking now over to the flatlands of Worcestershire. and Herefordshire to the west, down in front of us. Still descending from British camp. To our next climb and we've got our beloved Sugarloaf centre screen just to the left and above the yellow oilseed rape on the horizon there. Featured in uh, not our last video but the one before and other peaks that we visited recently over that way too, Brecon Beacons, Black Mountains, plethora of uh, hills which I'm getting better now at recognising and naming. Not that it really matters because the experience of scaling them and experiencing them is, uh, is enough. Heading on towards the obelisk, bisque, bisque. Lisk. Even. We are just now approaching a glorious old oak tree. There's seen many a weary traveller, I'm sure. Probably never seen any of the likes of me and Nick before, though. <coughs> the hawthorn is now in full, full flow as well. In flower. Certainly smell it as well as see it. May blossom, as it's called. And up ahead, on the left, is the obelisk.
Wow. So it says, inscribed to the memory of James Cox, ensign in the, in the guards. He died in battle in France, on the coast of France, in 1758. Nick has found more information. So yeah, the fencing is up because the... Um, ob Obelisk is being renovated. So we've got, so we've got another memorial to the memory of John Lord Summers, Baron of Evesham, Lord High Chancellor of England, in the reign of William III, and President of the Council in that of Queen Anne. Wow. So if you watch this video and you don't give us a thumbs up, we're going to bring you to this place. Hello. Just heading back towards the vehicle. We'll take you in a few more sights before we do. It's not a feast for the eyes, it's a banquet. No complaints though. Oh, glorious. Glorious. So we're nearly back to the van, mate. Yeah, yeah. What a day, mate. What a day. Another, another gem you've uh, you brought me on. Just looking up into the canopy of these trees, you can see the sun and these cobwebs being illuminated now, and the new, uh, the new leaves coming out on these uh, these ash trees and uh, on the oak and stuff. Couldn't couldn't be a more perfect day, really. Yeah. So the walk up to British Camp was. It was wonderful, I've never been there before. It's 338 meters above mean sea level. It was constructed in like 2 AD, I think, second century. And uh, is a scheduled ancient monument, much visited. And, uh, and then we've, we've walked probably in total four, five, six miles. Had a couple of brew stops. Visited the obelisk as well, which uh, wasn't intended, was it? So we need to look in, into that and uh, as a memorial of sorts to a few uh, fallen British uh, soldiers that fell and lost their lives in France. But the real star of the show, the stars of the show, are the views from those, uh, those ridges and this wonderful ancient woodland which has got a very sympathetic uh, management plan in place, which is good to see. All run and protected and managed by the uh, Malvern Hills Trust, formerly the uh, Malvern Hills Conservators. So um, it's in safe hands. So it's got a lot of pressure on it. We've met a few cyclists today and uh, as we suspected, um, there are clashes with walkers and cyclists and other users. But hopefully if people are sensible we can all share these wonderful spaces and uh, you know and enjoy them uh, to their full to their full so it's back to the van now I think and uh, head back to uh, Hereford not far from the car park now just uh, walking down through the trees 
to a stunning piece of woodland trying to keep our foot in because going up this morning was a damn sight easier than coming down now but what a glorious day what a walk Malvern Hills recommend it to anybody a large variety of walks you don't even have to go on the hills if you don't want to you can stay in the little wooded valley below and certainly this time of year when they're full of bluebells and the leaves are coming out on the deciduous trees it's an absolute absolute joy especially on a day like today so if you haven't been here before what are you waiting for Well, Nick and I have made it back to the van. We've uh, put our packs in the back. We're now mobile on our way to Ledbury, on our way back to Hereford. We've had a stunning return to the Malvern Hills. This walk was uh, a little bit different in that we uh, we visited British Camp, which was at the other end of the hills to the Worcester Beacon, which was where we visited uh, on our first trip. And it's been stunning. We visited British Camp, which is 338 metres above mean sea level. Not the highest peak in the world, but uh, an enjoyable one nonetheless. We visited the Obelisk, as well as uh, walking a lot of the, uh, the Malvern Hills Ridge. We've dipped down into beautiful, beautiful bluebell woodlands, um, which were absolutely stunning. The weather has been better than we could have hoped for clear skies, the views were immense and expansive, so our return has been a great success, we've thoroughly enjoyed it, we hope you have too, and if you did, please give the video a thumbs up, if you didn't, then by all means give it a thumbs down, if you subscribe already, thank you very much, we appreciate it, if you don't, then please consider subscribing, if you have any uh, comments, please leave those below, along with any questions that you may have, and we will definitely look forward to seeing you in the next, uh, See you the next one. video. Thank you very much.